I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 crowdfunding requests that are remarkably ridiculous. I should crowdfund something. You guys should pay me for my puns. Twenty-five. The plot of the movie The Martian had Matt Damon left on Mars, abandoned to be dead. After overhearing the news, one fan wanted to make sure we could get the silver screen superstar back to Earth safely. 24. Kate Funk, Brennan Grow, and a black cat named AC have been making the world's most amazing 100% awesome cat calendar for years. To get the calendar finished in time and to build the elaborate sets, they took to crowdfunding $3,500. They ended up raising over $25,000 and made hundreds of people happy with their very own super amazing cat calendar in return. 23. Skip that morning coffee. With the caffeinated power energy toothpaste, you'll receive a rush while you brush first thing in the morning. 22. This girl wants help to cure her insecurities and feel alive again by crowdfunding a breast enlargement. 21. One major Tim Tebow fan, major Tim Tebow fan, wanted to buy an NFL team to make the former Florida Gator its starting quarterback. And no, it wasn't me. 20. Fred Benison decided he wanted to translate the entirety of the novel Moby Dick into an emoji book. He succeeded in his ridiculous Kickstarter request and was able to confront a lot of our shared anxieties about the future of human expression by forcing a great work of literature through such a strange new filter. His words, not mine. I want to read it. Or look at <laughs> it. Look at it, yeah. 19. Aiming to get real people and small businesses engaged in politics, FCTRY, which I assumed is pronounced factory, created a Kickstarter to design and distribute a Bernie Sanders join the action figure. They've even made a Hillary Clinton figure in the past. 18. This Kanye West fan created a fundraiser after hearing the singer was $53 million in debt. The trouble was that Kanye didn't want the money. In the end, the fan donated it to fund arts in schools. 17. After lying to a black metal record producer about having a black metal bassoon duet, Liam Perry and Jamie Johnson took to Kickstarter to raise the funds to turn their lie into a reality. So, there you go kids, just throw money at your lies until they become the truth. 16. Noboru Bitoy was a design student with a dream, to eat a delicious $8 Chipotle burrito. He decided to take his ridiculous crowdfunding request to Kickstarter, where he asked for the money in exchange for graphing its deliciousness. In the end, Batoy raised so much money, he was able to eat a Chipotle burrito while skydiving from 13,000 feet. He made good on his promise and graphed the resulting deliciousness. 15. Critical of society's over-dependence on mobile phones, which are ruining your dates, distracting you at concerts, disrupting you in movie theaters, and clogging up sidewalks, the No Phone team has a perfectly ridiculous solution. A phone-shaped hunk of plastic which acts as a surrogate to your real phone. The bonus is that it doesn't do anything, since it's just a hunk of plastic. 14. If the smartphone craze weren't enough, one dad's design of a fake smartphone for his daughter's dolls was so popular with her that he started up a ridiculous Kickstarter campaign to refine and perfect my design of the static phone and want to create a model including a functioning screen and possibly Bluetooth technology. 13. This mom asked for $350 so she could get her kids' summer passes to a local amusement park. Other users weren't thrilled, <laughs> criticizing her for being lazy and trying to get handouts. 12. Aiming to recreate the bust of famous actress B. Arthur, Kickstarter user Jules successfully raised $18 to buy 12 unsweetened McDonald's iced teas before ripping up the empty styrofoam cups to piece together a bee bust mosaic. 11. After a grilled cheese with what looked like the Virgin Mary naturally charred into it sold for thousands of dollars, longtime couple and pretty sure Jesus was an awesome guy fans Rob and Meg set out to make divine intervention in grilled cheeses less erratic and sporadic. The two started the Kickstarter campaign for the Grilled Cheeses, an electronic sandwich press which embosses the face of Christ in every grilled cheese sandwich you make. 10. 
With dreams of becoming a great comic writer and illustrator, one student wanted to create a manga about a stoner who saves the universe. As they say, write what you know. 9. People without hair can sympathize. It gets cold without a hat. 8. One dad was worried about who his daughter was dating, so he asked for money to create the Yelp of teenage dating. In it, parents could review their kids' ex-boyfriends and ex-girlfriends. And we're worried about the NSA. 7. To raise money for his charity, Kevin Hay Beyond Vollmers pledged to eat an entire gallon of kimchi, quote, live in my underwear. As Kevin said, I'm up for it though. I'm mentally and physically prepared because I'm, as the kids like to say, hashtag Asian as f 6. This distraught Prince superfan hoped to raise $470 million to buy his estate and save his most valuable treasures. I wonder where the money would have really gone. 5. On a related note, another Prince superfan wanted to raise enough money to attend his funeral. The trouble? Prince asked for a private service and to be cremated. 4. If you've ever found the news boring, you had your chance to make it more exciting with this ridiculous crowdfunding campaign. The founders of the Kickstarter drive pledged to make a twice weekly news show where all the reporters deliver the news drunk as skunks. And yes, I, I know the term drunk as skunks just means really drunk, but now I want to see them do it drunk dressed as skunks. 3. Michael Panic of Jacksonville, Alabama was shocked to double his fundraising goal thanks to the charity of strangers. With $20 in hand, he was able to buy a 40-piece chicken McNugget meal. 2. Comedian Kurt Braunohler wanted to have a bit of fun, so he crowdfunded over $6,000 to have a skywriter scrawl the message, How do I land in the skies above Los Angeles? 1. Zach Brown was a simple man with a simple dream to make a potato salad. Though his goal was $10, the campaign ended up raising over 60,000. I wanna try that potato salad. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.